Hey fellow traders, in this video we're gonna take a look at the volatility ratio indicator for MT4. You can download this indicator or buy the link in the description below. To run this indicator, simply drag the volatility ratio indicator from the indicator list to your MT4 chart. And please don't forget to click on the load daily imports in the settings window. I also want to recommend you an indicator that shows levels where other retail traders placed their stop-loss orders. The price is very likely to interact with these levels. This can be seen on a historical chart. The best way to use this indicator is to sneak your take profit into such stop-loss clusters. Thus, it will be triggered with a higher probability. And if your position is opposite, you can try to avoid placing your stop-loss orders in such a cluster. In this case, decreasing the probability it will be triggered. Simple and brilliant. Try this indicator for free using the link in the description below. Along with stop loss clusters, you will also get 7 other sentiment indicators. The color of the indicator changes upon the presence of an absence of volatility. You can use the volatility ratio indicator to trade breakouts. The breakouts are typically associated with increased volatility. However, in a ranging market, traders wait for volatility to confirm the breakout. A breakout during a volatility may not confirm the direction and is associated with an increased risk of a false breakout. You can combine the volatility ratio indicator with many leading indicators for best results to trade during trending markets. So, how to trade with volatility ratio indicator? As you can see on the chart, the indicator shows in a separate window. The value above 1 indicates volatility, and below 1 indicates the absence of volatility. The indicator line turns green color in volatility market. The orange-red color indicates a lack of forex volatility. To add clarity to the indicator level 1 that indicates volatility, we can add a level at value 1, like here. Volatility is typically related to economic events during high-impact news releases. Volatility can be generally classified into historical volatility and implied volatility. Historical volatility helps you study the past volatility levels of different currency pairs and their market implications. In contrast, the implied volatility is the measures of expected future volatility. In the indicator settings, we can change only the volatility period and price type. And in the colors tab, we can change the colors and thickness of the indicator lines. The volatility ratio indicator doesn't provide trading signals at its own, so it provides merely an indication of the presence or absence of the market volatility. As a result, it doesn't give you trend direction and you should not identify trading direction. You should use different indicators to determine trend direction and then use volatility ratio indicator to add the volatility factor in their technical analysis for best results. Moreover, you can download this indicator by the link in the description below. Bye-bye.